In this and in some upcoming videos, I'm going to define a few terms that are going to help us with our analysis of linear regression. So the first term that I'm going to define is called the total sum of squares. So total sum of squares. The second term that I'm going to define is called the residual sum of squares. The third term is called the explained sum of squares. So in later videos, I'll cover these two terms and in this video, I'll explain what the total sum of squares is. So moving on to the definition. So the total sum of squares is equal to the sum from i equal to 1 to i equal to n. So we're assuming we have n data points. So TSS is equal to the sum of yi minus the sample mean of y squared. And the sample mean of y, once again, is equal to 1 over n times the sum of all the y terms. So what uh, what's going on is that we have our set of n data points, so all our xi's and yi's, and we have n data points, and taking all these data points we can calculate the sample mean of y, and then once we've obtained our sample mean of y, we can take the individual y data points and then subtract them by the sample mean of y, and then we square them, and then we add them all up, and that would, this value that you obtain in the end will be called the total sum of squares. And you can actually understand this uh, value over here graphically, so if I draw a x-axis and a y-axis, so you can imagine having n points on this plot. So these all these dots over here will represent our n data points. And then taking these data points, we can take all their y values, add them up and divide them by n, and then you get this value, the sample mean of y, which we can mark down on our y-axis. And then we can extend a horizontal line from this value of the sample mean of y. And then if you consider the uh, the uh, y coordinate of each data point minus the sample mean of y, this is really just the distance between each point and this horizontal line over here. So if let's say y1 is this point over here, so let's say this point has a coordinate of x1, y1, then y1 minus the sample mean of y would just be this distance over here. So of course it's going to be a negative number in this case because y1 you can see is smaller than the sample mean of y, but it doesn't matter after you square it. So you can kind of interpret yi minus the sample mean of y as the distance between each individual data point and the horizontal line that you see over here. So the total sum of squares is really just taking all these distances that you see over here, all these distances between the individual data points and this horizontal line that you see. So we're going to take all these distances and then we're going to square them and then we're going to add them up and the sum of all these distances square will be called the total sum of squares. And so that's really what the, how this term is defined. And so the TSS is actually uh, rather simple. Uh, the RSS and ESS are a bit more interesting, and we'll cover these terms in some future videos.